Hello there, so we have a no Miss Canada that would represent Canada, of course, <laughs> to Miss Universe this year. I don't want to beat around the bush. I want to be as direct to the point as possible. I am very much impressed. <laughs> well, well, who won't be impressed with such impressive looks? I rarely say this, but I think she is perfect for Miss Universe. With due respect to my very own cat, Riona Gray, I think this is one girl that cat Riona should be a little bit more careful about. <laughs> She's a doppelganger of uh, Taylor Swift. And she has also this aura very similar to Miss Estrella, who in this universe, uh, Jennifer Hawkins. Who else? <laughs> she also reminds me of my top favorite last year, Spain. Whatever. She looks great. She looks very strong. She looks like a model. She looks like, she looks like a Hollywood actress. There is this elite aura and at the same time very seductive you know i'm not exaggerating i'm just in fact i'm grasping for words to describe her really fully well and uh, all i can say is that she is the biggest threat to any candidate out there for the crown as of this time i don't know how will i put her in my top 15 for september Will it be the very first time that Philippines Catriona Gray will go one or two steps down from my rankings? Or what? So let's see in the coming days, how will she fare in my radar? But this time, I am very much sure that I have felt a little bit... intimidated <laughs> by her gorgeousness. Take a look at this. some info about her to help you analyze further her chances of winning. Yeah, sometimes, or most of the times, personal achievements, your educational attainment, your origin, the experience, they all matter. They are all essential factors that judges consider next to looks and wit, you know. And let's see what she offers. Okay, wait. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Wait. I love the girl. Where is that? Don't let my viewers wait. I've already set you up. Where are you? Okay, here it is. Marta was born in Warsaw. Warsaw. Is it Warsaw or Warsaw? Warsaw. Whatever. Anyway, the correct or legit Polish pronunciation is Warszawa. Marta was born in Warsaw, Poland, and raised in Windsor, Ontario. Ontario. Whatever. She is a student of biomedical engineering technology at St. Clair College and applied researcher. She knows, take note, French, Polish, German, and English languages. She is a professional model. That's why the poise is very evident. She stands out. Look at this dance segment. She stands out from behind. I like this girl in front. She could have one as well. Let's see her name. How did she fare? Or top 20. Top 20. What's the name of this girl? Because their names are on the sash, right? It's something unusual. And I liked it. So the name is Glorin. She is a little bit muscled. She could very well represent Canada in case Marta was not there. So maybe she should join next year. So we could see a, a representative with a body builder type of you know, figure. I liked her. Great candidates this year. So, let me make it short. 
<laughs> Short. I love her. Just how much I love Cat Riona. Of course, Cat Riona has an edge because there is this nationalistic pride within me. <laughs> and there is a great wish for my country, for Cat Riona too. Basically, bring home the fourth Miss Universe crown to my country, the Philippines. In fact, if Cat Riona doesn't win, I would rather see her get the second runner-up because we have never won this placement before. So it's just like winning. It's, it wouldn't be a consolation prize, but a great win as well. It's a title anyway. So whatever. Good luck, Miss Canada. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. This is your friend Roberto saying arigatong gozaimasu and mabuhay. Please subscribe.